In this video, let's take a look at validating TPC Desktop. I'm going to use a system that is new in September of 2018. When I purchase the uh, product online, uh, Travers P sends me a receipt. Here I've got my uh, purchase information. Then I want you to notice two things. Here's the download where I can download it so I can install it. And then here are two keys. One is the key for the program, and the other is the key for the connection. And I've gone ahead and just copied these. I just selected that key, copied it, and uh, pasted that into the dialog we were looking at. And I did the same with the professional connection. So let me get rid of that just for a moment. And I can see here that here's the key I pasted in for the program, key I pasted in for the connection. Now, if I don't happen to have my a receipt with me, look at this Manage License button. So this will open up the uh, online manager. I'm going to bring that over here for you. And here are all my license keys. So this is the one down here for the connection. This is the one for the professional. If I want, I can go to purchases and I can view details and downloads. And here's that same receipt we looked at just a moment ago with the download where I can download the program for installation and the keys so I can validate it. So even if I don't have that receipt, it's real handy for me. Now I'm gonna go ahead and put those codes in, hit the validate button here. And Travers PC says validation is complete. And if I look at the status here, it tells me the license was available, but wasn't active. I hadn't activated it yet. Then it tells me the license was activated successfully. And then it tells me I've used one of one activated. So I've used all of my activations and I have zero remaining. And then finally, it just reminds me again that the validation is complete. When I hit OK, Traverse PC runs like it always does, and I'm in the program. Now, the next time I run it, I don't have to do any of that. I only have to validate one time. And then I can come into the task manager, and right here, I can look at the license panel, and I can see that here's the username and company that I filled out in that dialog. Here's who purchased it, and then here's information on the license. Now, I can go to settings and click on the support tab. And again, I can go right to program validation, repeat all that if I need to or want to change something. And here's that same manage license button right here. So I can go in and manage the license online. This is something new in September of 2018 for TPC Desktop.